1.5 million Indian soldiers fought in the trenches of World War I. And just two decades later, 2.5 million Indians enthusiastically joined the fight against fascism by enrolling themselves in what would become the largest all voluntary armed force in history. If it were any other nation, such brave hearts would be immortalized forever and revered as national heroes. But in India, their memories are conflicted. One and a half million Indians came here to fight in the trenches. They came wearing their cotton khaki uniforms in the bitter cold winter. And there was no way that, you know, I was going to let their story not be told. But do you seriously think that erecting monuments to soldiers fallen fighting under British officers against Germans in France in 1914 is going to motivate soldiers today to fight the Chinese if they have to do so? That all our senior officers, uh, including the chiefs of the Army, Navy, Air Force, who till the 1980s, who were at the helm of our armed forces, all got commissioned as part of the British Indian Army. The fact that I grew up in India and I didn't know all these stories to the extent uh, was something that I was really shocked when I came here. So please be aware that the practice, what independent India's leaders did, is very different from the kind of message which you get from the textbooks. We have to stake our claim in this war and say that, you know, Indians fought. That soldiers of the British Indian Army deserve our appreciation and also the honor that has been their due, even after independence. Yeah.